Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So we've made it all the way to video six. And this video, we're gonna connect up a buzzer to our electronics and quite frankly, make a few annoying noises. The code that we're gonna run is the example six underscore morse code dot py. And this is what the electronic diagram looks like. Now, unfortunately, the PCB um, buzzer that looks like this is a small little thing which just pushes onto the breadboard, but the software that I use to make these diagrams doesn't have one of those in place. But basically, the layout of it is very simple. A, um, you have two pins, a positive and a negative pin, and they're marked on the bottom of the buzzer. You connect the negative pin to the black wire, and the positive pin goes up to one of the pins on the GPIO. That looks like pin one, two, three, four, five, six backwards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pin 22 is what we connect it to. So let's break down the code. So the first thing we're gonna be learning is, uh, well, one of the things we're gonna be learning in this video is the new concept of functions. And we'll come to that in a little bit, but let's look at the code first. We have our normal code here. We set up the Python interpreter. We import our libraries for the operating system, for time, and for the um, GPIO. And we set the mode to um, pin 22 for an output, which is sending a voltage, a signal to um, pin 22, which is our buzzer. And then down here we have the different blocks of code. I'm just going to explain what they do. So this first section of code we're going to look at here, essentially we'll turn the buzzer on for 0.1 of a second and then turn it off again. And it does this three times to make the dot dot dot, which is the first part of Morse code. Um, the second section is dash dash dash. Dashes need to be slightly longer in tone. So they're 0.2 of a second. So dot 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 is quick and short. Dash 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 is slightly longer. Now let's break uh, this section of the code down now. What we have here is the word def space morse code space round brackets semicolon and that is our definition of what's called a function. Now a function is a reusable section of code written to perform a specific task. So instead of having to write the same piece of code over lots and lots of times you could just refer to that particular function and the function there is called morse code so def means function definition and morse code is the name of the function which is so all of that there is the function um, where it says code's gone here i've just had to uh, take out essentially that and the rest of it because it won't fit on the screen and this here is how we the def space morse code is how we actually um, utilize that code so the way this works is the first Part, um, the way it runs through the code is to set up the first bit. It then skips over the function because it's just a fine but it's not used and it will run OS system clear to clear the screen. It will print to the screen Morse code. It will ask you how many times you would like to um, the Morse code to loop. Um, it runs into our while loop which we've covered in previous videos and then at the bottom it has the declaration for Morse code. It goes up to the Morse code section and then runs through the Morse code um, function and then drops out of the code and that's how it exits and that's essentially how it works. So let's see that working in the real world. Hopefully this all makes sense. So on the top of the buzzer there is the plus symbol which goes to the GPIO. Below that is the negative one which goes to the negative rail. So plug the negative one pointing um, towards us on the video um, and then you'll grab a cable which will connect that pin to the black negative rail and then we're going to grab another cable which will connect to the top pin which will go up to um, GPIO pin 22 um, and that's really one of the simplest of um, circuits we actually have set up so far. That's it. So hopefully we've wired that all up correctly. Let's just quickly look at how we run the code. So um, make sure you're in the directory with all of our code in. And we're gonna select six underscore buzzer dot py. So we simply run the command um, sudo six underscore buzzer dot py, or Python six underscore buzzer dot py. So that's how we run the code. And then it's gonna print to the screen the question, how many times would you like the SOS, the Morse code, to loop? Press that. And it will beep 
three times. Now if you want to learn more about functions and more about Python, I recommend that you go over to Code Academy and follow their fantastic interactive website um, and you can learn a lot more there than I can teach you in these short videos. Now if you want to keep watching, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel to get all the latest information.